Hi, this is Dan Breland. I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial on RealFlow 10 um, using the Diverso solver. Uh, we're going to be doing a basic tutorial on um, uh, liquid pouring into a container, and it looks similar to this. Now, um, First off, I'm not an expert on uh, real flow. I just know how it works and been playing with it for some time. Um, if you have any further questions, I'd either uh, recommend going to the real flow forums or uh, contacting the folks at uh, real flow. Um, but for now, let's. Uh, start this tutorial I'll go ahead and create a new project and we'll call it new I'm gonna put it in my e drive because uh, that's where all my stuff goes real flow to one and uh, we'll go ahead and select that folder and Call it Diverso Test and create the project. So from the blank, um, I'll start by adding some geometry. Uh, we'll do a, an open cube top and we'll move that up here and I'll widen it. This view, add some width, go back here, add a little more height to it, just cause. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is add our torus, that's our object, and I'll just move it up here. So when we uh, activate the simulation it'll fall and uh, I'll go ahead and make my cube a little wider there we go and next thing I'm going to add is the kill volume that way if any particles end up outside our box uh, it won't take up a bunch of memory just move it like that and I'll make it a little wider let's see how that looks looks pretty good I'll bring it in on the sides okay next we're gonna add gravity so we have the gravity demon and we'll just move it over there because it doesn't matter where it's at Okay, so now with Diverso, uh, we're going to add an emitter. It'll be a cube. And watch when we do this. Uh, you'll see that it adds the emitter and a domain. And that's how that works. I'm going to move these over here just uh, to keep things organized. It's just my personal preference. And for Diverso to act correctly with objects, you need to add a rigid, you need to make this a rigid object. So you select it, hit rigid, and as you see, it makes another domain and it adds a particle skinner and you see it puts particles inside there now we're going to uh, go to our emitter and I'm going to move it up and over here and put a little angle to it make sure that uh, it's positioned nicely shows up over here and so that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, 
So the next thing we're going to do is uh, simulate for now just to see what happens. And there we go. Boom. Objects in there interacts a little bit with the particles are being pushed. Okay. Now, when you're looking at this, you'll see the particles aren't coming to the edges quite right. So, to fix that, what we'll do is we'll go to the container itself and set the surface offset. And I'm also going to change the cell size. And what this does is, uh, one, it helps keep the particles in the container. Uh, some may spill out, but setting this fixes that. So we'll go ahead and re-simulate. And as you can see, the particles now are spreading out to the edges. That's what we want. Um, we can make this object a little lighter by going it to its domain. And you'll see the density. Change that to 500. And then we'll simulate. Yeah, it looks good. Interacting very well. Now the um, settings for the cube, um, I found setting it to shell works really well. Um, if you do solid outside, you're going to get uh, some really weird effects like that. Uh, something that Diverso does, I can't explain it. I don't. I didn't develop the software, so uh, we'll try with Solid Inside, and we have some particles that look like they're falling out. Um, not not too cool so I'll set this to shell and honestly anytime I make a change I always hit reset that uh, just seems to fix a lot of weird things so here we go and good interaction particles are staying in the container and interacting and that's how that works so again uh, for this to work correctly um, you want to uh, make sure your object that's going to be floating or interacting with the particles um, you have to add a skinner to it um, that's the way I found uh, Diverso works correctly. That's it. Hopefully this helped. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions.